Okay. Okay, guys, so this is the equipment circuit. Um, the first station is um, the former here. We've got the um, roll down bar attached to one of the ropes, and you start with that on the same side. So, with the knees aligned to the shoulder rest, we're pulling down, turn the body back through to the front. In case they need to apply pressure on the way down, but also as they scoop the arm up over and around, you still need that um, the rope to be taut, otherwise, they'll feel unstable and fly through the front. So what I get you to do is just get them to start by getting a sense of the tension on the rope nice and slow. You're pushing down through the bar, you turn the trunk, you come back through and try not to let it crash through when you've come back to the front. The other watch points I guess is that they're not tipping the trunk forward, um, forward or back um, and that they're not sitting back onto their heels. So ideally you want to keep the alignment of the knees, hips and pelvis. What I'd suggest for the first couple of weeks is just doing sets of 12. They might just want to do a set, have a rest, and then another set, and just see how many they get through. And then obviously for part two, they'll just need to detach it and affix it to the other rope and go the other way. The second station is going to be the reformer here. We're going to start with heavy-ish footwork. So I'm put three springs on, the red, the yellow, and the blue. They're going to do the five versions of footwork. So again, it's just heels on the bar. We'll start with just the ball to get the feel of it. Core on, and they're just going, if they can, getting a bit of speed, going through the heels for 12, then down onto the toes for 12 without locking your knees. And then we're going to go wide, heels, same thing. And then we go wide, toes, same thing, okay? And then the final one is just that froggy position, okay? So it's just getting them to coordinate all their core um, with the five footwork positions. If they want, if they have time, they can go heels on the bar for that froggy position as well. First couple of weeks, just getting the line, getting the control as they extend away, and they should feel that one building up through the thighs because it's a heavy spring. Part two, we just put the shoulder rests down, and this is a sitting um, arms work. If they want, they can use the block to sit on, so you might want to have that, especially for some of the taller guys. We'll go down to yellow spring for this one, and they face away. The feet can go on the shoulder rests. They cross the straps, okay, and you've got your outwards row, okay. So again, we're looking at spinal alignment, okay. So we're pulling out. For simplicity, you might just want to work in your groups of 12 to 15, depending how fatigued people get. So they pull out, the higher they have the arms, the harder it is. So I'd start them low, build it up. So they go 12 to 15, and then they can add the rotation. And again, the, the lower they start, the better probably, so they can build up with that. So for weeks one, two, and three, let's just keep them, if they're comfortable, just with that position, so they can maintain spinal alignment. Okay, and then they just obviously just have to put the shoulder rests up for the next person coming through for their footwork. So, so we come down onto the front. This is a half extension. Some people will want the pillow there. You may even just have to double it over. So once they're down, they can rest the head. We're taking one leg at a time, and we're just going for that little half extension up off the mat. So again, ideally neutral pelvis watching that they're not going into lumbar extension. So it's just a very subtle movement depending how much control they have. Go for groups of 15 and then they probably want to swap. Okay, and so we're just going to alternate left and right. Groups of 15 for the first two minutes. Really focusing on the control of the pelvis as they switch from one leg to the other and making sure they don't go into lumbar extension. Okay, part two is a glute station as well. So we're coming up making sure that the head down to the base of the ribs is pretty much supported. They can reach around and hold the box here. What we're gonna do is knee lifts to 90. So this is quite a, a hard one on glutes and hamstrings. So they'll find from this station that they do feel their glutes have woken up. So again, probably groups of 15, reset and then switch to the other side. And again, we'll just alternate groups of 15. And again, you wanna just check that they haven't dropped the pelvis particularly the grounded side as the leg lifts. So the focus here in the first couple of weeks is just maintaining the line, starting to recruit a little bit more through glute max. Okay, and then carefully off the side. 
We'll come around to the chair next. So we'll go for two minutes each side. For the first couple of weeks, they probably will want all the boxes. I've just got this one on a black spring, okay? And it's set about halfway down, okay? So we come along and we've got the arm pressing to the floor, the other hand to support behind the neck, and it's just a side sort of oblique raise. So just up to where they want to come, you can come back down in line so you're fully horizontal and then you're, you're coming up, okay? Groups of 15, then they might want to rest. Hand can come forward and they can alternate between that and the clam, okay? So again, while they're resting, there's no real pressure down on the bar, but they're still maintaining a bit of scapular head and neck control as they go into their clams for recovery. So 15 and then they can go back to that first bar where they're coming up into their side flexion. Okay, so we'll go for two minutes each side. If it's a bit heavy on the neck, just let them come up and stretch and then go again. So loose springs, and I've actually put the, um, the straps from the first reformer um, here. So you've got the short and the long strap. Um, I think we'll start with the short straps. We're coming down and listen to our four point kneel. We take the weight to one side and we've just got heel slides. This one's actually quite a hard stability one, but for the most people that have come last term, we started this sort of over on the chair. So they should have a little bit of a sense of their position. And again, what you're looking for is any dropping of the pelvis or any lateral shift. So again, we've got the alignment, keep the foot on the table, go for about 15, and then just alternate left and right with 15s for the first two minutes. And again, I'm just getting them to support on the long strap, without the hands touching. Okay, for part two on this station, we'll go for hands and straps. Because it's quite a taut spring, I'm gonna get you guys just to use the long strap to start with. Depending how strong the person is, we can start with feet on, and you've got hundreds. So you've got pulling down for 10, down the line, and then pull wide, but they can lift up into a bridge if they want. Go for 10 like that, step back down, 10 down the line, okay? So just alternating between a bridge and a flat back, and you will find that because it's heavy, they'll start feeling that in the arms and hopefully the abs. And obviously in the first couple of weeks, if that's too easy, they can go to one or two legs up for their first set, and then the bridge for part two. Okay, then we come down to mat two, which is gonna be on the Bosu, um, ab prep to a sit up. So we can um, put the circle around the thighs. There's just a little bit of gentle pressure out to the side. They're starting with the hands behind the back and they've got that little scoop back and down just to where they feel that they've still got control. Try not to let them lose that rib position so they keep it there. Then they're curling through and up and get that nice little articulation on the way through. Because we did roll downs last term, I think a lot of people will feel a bit more comfortable about this one. They curl over the arc, brace through the abs, scoop through, so they get that scooping through, and then the pelvic tilt into extension coming up. Take it nice and slowly on that one. Part two, we'll just move the bosu out of the way. And we're gonna just go for the side lying circle work. Probably just groups of 15. Level one with the arm under the head, or level two, they can go propped up and we've just got the hip abduction. So there's a little bit of pressure outwards both ways on the circle and then relax it through. So for the first couple of weeks, let's just look at the rib cage position, <laughs> scapula, <laughs> and a bit of pressure on the circle each way. Okay, they can go for groups of 15 and then pivot round and do the other side. It's gonna be a scooter with the ball and with using the straps. So I've got the long yellow straps here that they can just use for some upper limb support. So we've got the alignment of the two hip bones. The front leg is hopefully in line with um, under the pelvis. Neutral spine, and they've just got that little hip extension back, okay, for week one. And you might just find people want to start a little bit further back, so you've got a little bit of tension on your strap, and then they can go into their scooter here. But really what I want people to get comfortable with in the first couple of weeks is maintaining the weight on that leg, okay? And coming up, so they'll do groups of 12 and they'll stay on the same leg for the two minutes and then switch to the other side. So it's actually getting confident balancing on that leg. 
got a bit of arm support to keep the scapulas in place, and then you've got the little leg scooting back. Okay, so two minutes each side, probably groups of 12. Okay, and that's the circuit.